What's up, world? Welcome to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. And we got to get into Shannon Sharp, man. Uh, as you guys know, he runs a phenomenal platform podcast, multiple things under his podcast, Nightcap, Club Shay Shay, all the above, right? As you guys may have heard or seen around the world, he opened up 2024 with a viral podcast interview with Mr. Cat Williams. And we all know that from the beginning of that episode to the end of the episode, it was straight. <laughs> it was straight strays. I mean, dynamite, fireworks. Cat Williams did an outstanding job of just calling out a lot of things that, you know, happened in the industry. And, you know, uh, it has been a pretty much domino effect. So now you got all these other comedians, right? And I like the genius side of it because it's really very strategic on Shannon Sharp's um, behalf because what he is running to me, in my opinion, is sort of like a Ponzi scheme where he is literally the product, right? He is the product. And what he did was pretty much let his product hire other products to benefit him and that's typically how a pyramid ponzi scheme uh operates shannon sharp started a domino effect because now you had steve harvey right you had cat williams you got monique country wayne you got you have all these comedians coming to your aid to be on your show because the platform is so huge it's great uh business and publicity for both parties so it's a win-win for the interviewer and the interviewee so uh somehow uh Mike Epps, I believe, called Shannon Sharp out or probably cracked a joke about him or whatnot. All we know is this video of Shannon Sharp is going around, which I'm about to play, of him pretty much getting out of character. And I have a lot to say about this, but first, let's get into this actual video so that you guys can see for yourselves. It's out there. Uh -huh. And this round, and I'm gonna fire this shot over your head, mofo, and you will know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah. Mention my name, mention my name again. Yeah. And I'm gonna put the DM. I'm gonna put, I'm, and I don't like doing this. Yeah. But you're lying. See, and yeah. I don't care about all that other stuff. You can say I'm gay and you can say I'm, I don't care about that. Because yeah. I won't chase a lot, but yeah. I won't let you lie on my name. And as you guys can see, man, Shannon Sharp is very much out of character man this isn't like him man he, he obviously seems like he's very frustrated right somehow he's accusing mike epps of lying on him and it's over something stupid to me in my opinion he's pretty much calling out mike epps for saying like hey don't act like i reached out to you to come to the show you want to come sit in on the podcast you reached out to me so he's pretty much calling him out and i think that mike epps probably cracked a little jokes uh you know behind it and i'll show that video as well but it just looks like Shannon Sharp is flustered, man. I don't know what Mike Gibbs did to him, but this is like very um, uncharacteristic like for uh, Uncle Shay, as he calls himself. Uh, and this is just not good, man. Like, you, you know, Shannon Sharp, he always tries to tell other people like, hey man, don't let people get under your skin and do this and that. He up here talking about firing shots and this and that. And I'm just like, hey, but before I even continue to really get into this, let's finish hearing the the rest of what Shannon Sharp had to say. Y'all been, I've been seeing it in the chat. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking about, they, but I'm with you. I'm a, nigga, say I'm my name you. again, and I'm gonna put this, and I'm gonna release the DM because yeah. you're lying. Yeah. You said I reached out to you to come on Club Shay Shay, and you a mofo lot. Now, when I, I said you, yeah. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see if you about that. Okay. I'm gonna see. Now, this is where I don't like where Shannon Sharp is going. Like, Shannon Sharp, man, come on, man. Like, you getting out of character and you're literally pretty much threatening Mike Epps. So everybody be real quick to run to Shannon Sharp's A because he's universally unk, but here's where he is wrong. You cannot have these interviewees come onto your podcast, right? And let's be honest, man, Shannon Sharp was eating that up because it's very good for his ratings. He gained over what damn near a million followers in one overnight right overnight after the the cat williams podcast and now this guy is tripping me out because he is literally threatening another man and i'm like what did you expect right you sat there condoning an interview acting like you didn't know what was going on but we all know that when once cat williams started to go on that rant do you honestly think it's better for the, the viewers the views the viewers the audience to halt him and stop or do you think it's more better to let him keep cooking you let cat williams keep cooking 
so in a way you did condone it and as soon as i saw that i said okay like i understand that shannon sharp likes to keep a clean name he tries to keep a clean name and try to say like hey like it's all business i don't want to be pretty much tied to or in the middle of anything but you put yourself in the middle when you did that so you have to be ready for you know comedians to kind of crack on you a little bit or whatever honestly i don't know what all was said but i don't understand why mike epps is being snapped on by uh shannon sharp just because he said you dm'd me like that's not okay you could clear that up but i don't think that you have to go on a rant like that maybe it's because he's going on tour doing it and it, and if a man doesn't play about his reputation like shannon sharp and mike epps is going on tour and from city to city state to state cracking a joke and word is getting back to shannon sharp then he has to protect himself and his brand but i don't think this is the way so let's get into Mike Epps and see what Mike Epps had to say about, you know, Shannon Sharp firing off on him like that. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you. But now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cag. He was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't, okay? Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me, you're gonna be an all-star, I'm gonna be a doll star in my hometown, and I'm gonna see you, all right? I'm gonna see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know, I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So, you know, it's only other, one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank. Blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some eyebrows. You looking like a whole milk dust sitting there agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass on TV. So you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight the shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. <laughs> and as you guys can see there, man, I have to side with Mike Epps on this because I feel like it's all on calls for. I mean, comedians are never really serious unless they're beefing with each other. You rarely see a comedian beefing with an ex hollow well an ex football player uh, a hall of famer and a sports analyst like you know and i want you guys to pay attention to a lot of things that mike epps highlighted in this and, and and shannon sharp did as well now you guys saw he was like i don't mike epps was like i don't really know what type of grown-ass man calls himself shay shay right and he kept saying you look zesty right and then shannon sharp was like you could call me gay you could say this and that and, and, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, right? I have heard from a lot of athletes, people in Hollywood, that Shannon Sharp is indeed, that this is, this is all for entertainment. I could be wrong. I'm not saying that this is the truth, but I have heard that he is dating his stylist. In fact, I have proof that he is, and this is just the truth. And I know that a lot of people don't like to hear this because it's all about like, no, like whatever, like, you just talking no i'm not no i'm not and i think that a lot of people tiptoe around the truth man and the truth is that shannon sharp does indeed possibly i gotta say possibly because you know don't want to get you know in no defamation situation or whatnot possibly quote unquote possibly is dating his stylist and i'm here to tell you guys that i'm 99 percent sure that this just may in quotes may be the truth and i think that's the reason that shannon sharp is as mad as he is because a lot of people how can i say this guys a lot of people sell out to buy in you want this lifestyle you want to be on tv you want your own podcast everything that cat williams was saying was literally addressing shannon sharp if you guys go back and watch that interview, you will see a lot of uncomfortable moments for Shannon Sharp when Cat Williams was just being brutally honest. Because a lot of that, in my opinion, quote, in my opinion, if I say quote, read between the lines, 
quote in my opinion i think that shannon sharp was just uncomfortable you know what i'm saying like this guy was literally telling his truth but anyway i won't dive into that that's another video man i try to stay away from that uh but i'm gonna tell you guys this man uh mike epps is not in the wrong shannon sharp is very much in the wrong and i get why he's trying to protect himself but like cat Will like cat williams was doing on that interview he was talking about specific people notice mike epps said hey you tried to get cat williams to go against me but cat williams did it let me tell you something cat williams is a very very smart man just like kanye west is like all the people that y'all be thinking crazy be the ones that really be having sense it's just so much that they see in that black witch black witchcraft hollywood stuff to where they refuse to buy in so guess what the media is going to do they're going to paint these people ruin them and you guys don't ever pay attention to that like but i do i really do and i just think that shannon sharp threatening him and now you got mike else pretty much threatening him back like okay you're gonna try but you're gonna be in my hometown all-star weekend and i'm gonna be comfortable i'm going this is my neighborhood so shannon sharp it, it will behoove you to really just squash this stuff man like you guys are both men right you just got to handle this very differently man because you can't have one foot in uh you know on television saying how you're such a stand-up guy and how you got to carry yourself with all this prestige and then you turn around and you start to threaten and acting like you a rapper or something we saw you do this with lebron james about to lose your life to the whole grizzlies uh grizzlies uh basketball team and you were willing to risk it all just for another man and that's another thing man i'm sorry man you guys can say what y'all want on my channel i think that shannon sharp is very suspect i think and i know okay it is what it is if you don't like it you don't have to subscribe or follow me but i will not sit here and not speak my opinion or validation on what i just know shannon sharp opened up a can of worms stirring up all that mess with cat williams because let's be honest if he was a real stand-up guy like Steven Jackson said, Steven Jackson was like, hey, I wouldn't have let Cat Williams do all that if I'm affiliated with certain people. And I respect that because I'm like that. I don't want to be seen on camera condoning and laughing and acting like I can't control somebody that's on my show. It is very much in control of you, Shannon Sharp. It is your show. Literally, it's your podcast. So that's where I stand with it. You guys weigh in on this. I know I probably ruffled uh, a, a few feathers, but I, I just want you guys to know that hey this is charge the game podcast and sometimes we have to get brutally honest on here so if you guys like what you heard weigh in drop the comments if you guys like the content make sure you hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the latest when i drop my sports media takes thank you guys so much for the love and support like always let me know how you charge the game peace <laughs>